Hey YouTubers, Rick's here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Sharpie S-Gel Pen. No smear, no bleed technology. I have been looking forward to reviewing this pen, so why waste time? Let's get right into... Wow, talking about getting cut off. All right, Sharpie Pen S Gel. No smear, no bleed technology, always vivid writing black ink. It is the nice 0.7 millimeter medium point. Yes, a bold experience. Let's see here. It says a high performance gel pen. It's got a contoured rubber grip. For a comfortable writing experience, always vivid writing with intensively bold ink colors. Um, <clears throat> you know it's black, right? All right, that's not a color. No smear, no bleed technology for an exceptional writing experience. I'll be the judge of that. And so you can see here, it's got the listings. Point seven is called a medium. Bold is a one, so I guess... When I said bold, I spoke out of turn. All right. And it says, product contains a wax tip seal to prevent damage during shipping. Please remove prior to use. Every time I do that, somebody gets hurt. Oh, well. Let's give this a shot, huh? These puppies need to breathe or something. I got this big old hole here. Oh, it's so you can feel the rubber crap. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. All right, let's tear into this puppy. Actually, I don't want to tear into it. I'm going to have to use the old Extracto Exacto. There we are. All right, and then you're just going to have to carefully slice the old plastic thing open without cutting myself. Oh, not real good at this, am I? And I'm going to go one pin deep. And that's not an Indian name, one pin deep. Okay, just so you know. All right. And this is how you store your pins. See, you just slice it open and get one pin out and store the rest for a rainy day. That's your opinion? <laughs> First impressions, I like this pen. That's my first impression. It feels good in my hand. It's not too heavy, not too light. It's just right. Will do, Goldilocks. At least for me. It has a really nice matted painted barrel on here, black painted barrel. It says S gel on the clip, 0 0.07 on the top of the clip. Of course you have the ejection mechanism. It has the name Sharpie written there. There's that nice rubber grip. Silver band right here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So let me take the old wax tip off. Don't fight me. Come on. All right, and I'm going to get rid of this thing. Ouch! Sorry. Ah, I'm always doing that. All right. So let's try her out, huh? Papel. Uh, that's paper in Spanish, in case you didn't know that. Papel, material que se presenta como una lámina fina hecha con pasta de fibras vegetales u otros materiales molidos y mezclados con agua, secados y endurecidos. All right, so let's uh, let's do some writing here and let's see how this thing writes. I have a little bit of smudgy on my hand here from doing some other projects 
before I came in here. I should have washed my hand for the video. You know what? I'll be back. 12 seconds later. Okay, I'm back. Look at those hands. <laughs> You know, sometimes I get comments about my hands being dirty. I still couldn't get everything off. I got a little bit of a black hair and easy tack sticky and I can't get everything off. So I got as much as I could for now. But hey, you know, this is a arts studio. So you can't have spick and span hands. By the way, spick and span is not a sponsor. All right. So here we go. Oh, and by the way, neither is Sharpie. I paid for this with my own muchas. All right, here we go. This is the Sharpie. I still got easy, easy tack on my thumb there, sticking. S gel. Pin. Right. The Ricks can do it. YouTube channel is super. Duper awesome. And you you must put exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Remember that. Especially in your comments. When you say awesome, put those exclamations in there. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's see. Back in the day. When I was just a child, we used to have these bakery trucks come down our street selling yummy donuts and other pastry goods they were called the helms bakery truck trucks plural in california all right well there you go my nice little letter talking about a memory that I had when I used to be a little boy and I identified as a little boy. So I'm still in that classification in case anybody's debating that anymore or ever. And there used to be this bakery truck that used to come down the street was Helms Bakery Truck. And he would stop, just like an ice cream truck would. He would come down, we'd run out there, and he would slide out these shelves of donuts and pastries. And, ah, oh, this was great. And then when he was gone, then the milkman will pull up and bring you your butter, bring you your milk to your door. And then when he's gone, then the ice cream man will come down in the afternoon. And we would buy our rocket pops or whatever they had at that time. I can't remember so long ago. And I know they had push-ups and regular chocolate bars and vanilla bars and stuff. So some fond memories back when I was a kid. And in case you're wondering, uh, peeps, that was back in the 60s. All right, back to the pen. As you can see, I enjoyed writing with the pen. I didn't see any kind of smearing. None. It writes really smooth. It just glides. 
and I'm making a mess here. Right? Really? Smooth. This pin here, I was waiting for it. It looked like it would be interesting. Now that it's in my hand, I think it's a great pin. I love this black matte color. I think it's stylish. Looks really stylish. It feels good in my hand. It's got this rubber grip and it really writes nice, which you would expect from a Sharpie. This is really well done. And just, just to conclude here, let's open her up if we can, and we can, good. So you open this up and then you have your standard, you know, which most likely is refillable. However, I don't have any data on that for you in this video, but I will tell you this. Getting four pins for somewhere around four bucks is not expensive at the least. I think that it's a good price. It comes in at around a dollar a pin or just maybe a little under, a little over, depending on where you get it. But I personally think that this is a good deal. Again, I paid my own money for this and um, I'm not sponsored by Sharpie. But I'll tell you, I, I really like this pen. I, I can't think of anything that I can bring out negative about it. You know, it looks like you'll clip onto my shirt just fine. If I had a shirt pocket, which I don't, it'll just sit on my desk. But, you know, I, I just think it looks really, really nice. Now, of course, it doesn't look like something, you know, if you want to go dressed up with a suit and tie and you're a lawyer or something and... You want one of those really fancy looking pen with gold inlays? No, of course not. But for your regular everyday pen, low cost pen, uh, to enjoy writing, filling out forms, uh, really nice ink, doesn't skip, writes really smooth. Uh, it certainly has the Ricks Can Do It endorsement as a good buy. So there you go, folks. Short and sweet. I'm just to the point letting you know that I happen to like this Sharpie S-Gel. And once I have used them up, I am going to definitely buy them again unless something even better comes out. But meanwhile, yeah, good pen. All right. Well, I hope you appreciate my opinion. If so, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't appreciate it, give me a thumbs down. You know, if you have to. But subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so that you will be informed of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.